Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Four Towers Films. And I'm Doug218. How's it going? It is another episode of Survivor Island of the Idols, episode number four, five, four, five, 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 five. five. Last <laughs> week was four. <laughs> Doesn't seem like we're on episode five yet, does it? <laughs> Well, as was hoped, they did the recap, of course, of last week, and coming back to tribal count or uh, back to their camps after tribal council. And of course, Dean's not too happy because they brought it out Chelsea. And he was on a witch hunt. He was looking for whoever instigated it, brought it to the forefront, whatever. Well, because he's going to rag. He knows. Who probably didn't vote for Chelsea, so he's figuring out who did. Yeah. He's going around asking each one individually, not if they did it, but or well for kinda of like, where'd you hear it from? Who started the idea of getting rid of Chelsea? But of course everybody said, Oh, I don't know. Somebody just came to me and told me to vote for Chelsea. <laughs> you know? And of course even Missy, whose actual idea it is. That's how know, she sold it. She sold it that way too. So he actually still doesn't know. Who came up with the idea of voting out Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> so they actually had, and there are, a lot of them are kind of flabbergasted who actually voted for Karishma. That she's still there. <laughs> kind of so are we. <laughs> but. There's not enough adjectives to properly describe this woman's game. I, she seems like a nice lady, you know, and she probably is, and, and stuff, and she, she has a pretty good social mm -hmm. game, like, it's not that they don't like her, and it's just that she, she doesn't seem to do well in challenges, and she apparently she doesn't do much around camp either, so... She would have fit in on CBS's other reality show, probably yeah. better, Big Brother. Yeah, probably, more you know. so than Survivor, I think. Because you know, if you're not, but, if you don't have a degree of physical uh, activity or or willingness to want to do stuff, this is not the show for you. No, it's it's a tough, tough it's show. It's a tough month, and if you can't hack it, then you shouldn't be on it. You shouldn't be on it. <laughs> no matter if you want to try to push yourself or not, you know? I mean, I know they have to pass physical, so she obviously did. But, I mean, if you, like we were saying, if you're not, you don't have the prowess, basically. I mean, you don't have to be a big muscle woman or man, you know. But, I mean, you should be able to do something. You should you be, know? one, you should be able to swim. Yeah. Two, like uh, previous contestants have done, learn how to start fire. Mm -hmm. um, Help around the camp. If you're not, yeah. you might not do that kind of challenges or puzzles or something, but... Make I'll yourself useful. Or like yeah. something, and she doesn't seem to do any of that. But, she just sits. You know. So anyway, they, they had to the reward challenge. And when they're there, just like drop your buffs, they are mixing up the tribes. So the, the reshuffle um, now went with the new Volkai having a 4-4 four, four split. Between Volkai and, and Lyra. So, um... The other dead middle. Volkai was... Uh, that's the new Volkai. The new Lyra is a 5-4 split. 5-3. Five, 5-3 so three. Three split. On the new Lyra. 5 Volkai and 3, li three Lyra. They're a little light numbered. <laughs> you can see that on, on the new Lyra. The old Volkai are... They're, they're they're, they're, oh, their starting. days are numb. Yeah. Right. Okay. They can pick them off. So basically, the reward challenge is to now to test uh, how the new tribes work together. And Jeff, like the deal maker, goes, "You want to know what you're playing for?" Boom! It's a full on Applebee's lunch. Yeah. And these first time they've ever done that. And these people lost their minds. Oh yeah. Well, hey, they haven't been eat. They've been there about twelve days at this point. Rice and coconut. Then that's basically all they've been eating. They fish if they can catch it. But you know now they're getting like steak and. Fajitas and you know alcohol. and shark bowls. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that's a big, big huge like, huge. I'm surprised they weren't all drunk because <laughs> they also had beer and wine. And I mean, you're talking about people haven't eaten real substantial in yeah. almost two weeks. <laughs> well, probably what we didn't see on the cutting room floor. They were all half half bagged. Yeah, but I could see it. <laughs> I, basically, this one was uh, it was like a slithering 
race. Yes, they have that sand, like they have these dunes that they had to crawl, not even crawl, but slide, slide over. Like, like <laughs> snakes, and they were tied together. Tied together, and then like their hands were tied behind their backs. So it was basic. Because they couldn't use their hands, really. It was basic. All body movement, elbows, yeah. if you could get it, you know, or shoulders. Or you could get like your hands, your hands down. You know, but oh my God. Some of these guys hit the ground running, and, oh, yeah. and they did really well. Then it was the funny. I'm sorry, it was funny, but the whole thing with Nora and Karishma. They are the ones tied together. They were tied together. Now Nora's screaming at her, "Come on, girl, come on, let's go, let's go!" And Karishma's laying there like a beached well, whale. Well, she didn't look like she was. Even trying. Trying that hard. She was like lying on her side. She looked like she was kind of flopping a yeah. little bit, but not really doing much. Not like what the others were doing. Like using like the, the forward kind of like a, a worm type motion. Yeah. And even Nora was yelling at her like, like go straight. Go on, like on My your fly, stomach. Yeah. See what the others are doing, but she wouldn't do it. Nora was literally dragging Dragging this her. girl. You know, a lot. I mean... And I'm sorry, Krishma's not a small girl. She's taller than a lot of them there. She's a full-figured girl. And she's, you know, stocky. Yeah. You know, so I mean, she and she's not really helping herself that much. So, I mean, talk about how strong Nora must be. Because she literally dragged her to the finish line. You know, uh, I'm sorry, guys, but damn. Yeah, it, yeah. It, she you know, doesn't and look... And they did sit somebody out. Didn't they sit somebody out? Or, no, maybe not with this one, because I think they're equal right at the moment. Yeah, right now they're... Because um, I think I would have sat her out if that oh. was the case. But I don't I think they're equal at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so both sat out. Um so and at the end those like the, the they went in twos and the last two had to put together a puzzle. Which was a flame. Yeah, it was really cool. One of those like three D type puzzle things, like the stand up. They've done it before even in this season. Yeah. Um and so of course Bokai Bokai won. Again, even with the reshuffle tribe. <laughs> So they what won can, Applebee's. So basically, everyone is just getting well, bad eating, and and they're like, t and they they're keenly aware that's four four. Yeah, on Bolakai now, Lyra is kind of like you know they're probably get, not going to flip to us, and if we stick together, we're not going to flip to them. So it'll probably go to rocks if yeah. we end up losing the immunity challenge. And they're like, and a couple of them, like Missy and, um, oh, I forget what his name is, former Lyro, um, said they don't want to go to Rocks. So they want to try to convince one of the Volkai well, maybe to vote with them, like to try to find cracks. And I think Volkai is thinking the same thing. Yeah. Whereas the cracks over here on Lyra, maybe they'll yeah. vote with us. So, so we'll see, because right now it's 4-4, it's four four, because a lot of it is the former Lyro um, alliance is together and really bulk eye too so it's gonna it'll, be tough i think i think it'll be interesting to see how it plays out over the next oh yeah ep uh, next few episodes if you know they can kind of work and their it, magic and... yeah oh yeah yeah and so on lyro kershma is trying to kind of get in with what the old full prime members because she knows <laughs> well they're down there's only three of them and so she's gonna need to do something and they're like, and they're all talking to it. And uh, they're like, you know, they're kind of surprised she's still here in the game. Not that they don't like her. It's just they, they see really what what she's like in the challenges. So, well, and, you know, <laughs> Chris was like, okay, listen, I know I've done terrible at every challenge. <laughs> and my old tribe <laughs> wrote my name down at every tribal council. Yeah, pretty much. And but you're still here. <laughs> I'm done with them. I'm with you. I'll vote with you. I'll vote with you. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's almost out of necessity anyway. Well, it's only three, I guess. She so, has to. You know? Um, and so, I mean, and then she also opened up about her personal life, which I think might have endeared her to them a little bit more. That's That was that that was a pretty raw raw segment. And, you know, you, you really don't know these people. And no. To, to share such personal things about... Well, she said she felt comfortable talking to them. Like, she never felt like she could connect on Lyra. Like, they didn't really care. Yeah. And so she felt more comfortable talking to most of the Volkai members. And they listened to her and, and you know, and I think encouraged her. 
you know, because she's she's talking about her husband and how it was an arranged marriage. And that's kind of how her culture does it. Her parents were arranged and that she kind of feels more like her husband's a roommate than a husband. And she's not really sure what she should do next. But and so it was, it was you know, I guess it was good for her to talk to them about it, you know, sort of outside of the situation. Yeah, and, and you that, know what? So. Here's, here's the thing, too. You know, I understand wanting to, to talk and get... Um, There's not a lot else to do there. Not really. a lot else to do, but this this is a big thing. This gets broadcast nationally, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, but maybe her struggles can help others maybe, in the yeah. situation, too, you know. I mean, I think... I mean... I think if she's saying that they're, I mean, if the husband has to know, they're not yeah. really that romantic, you know what I mean? True. I mean, that wouldn't be a secret to them, and it probably isn't to the family either, but, I mean, I know they're pretty private, so maybe they wouldn't like that too well, much, that... but if she's on Survivor, yeah. she obviously is a little bit outside the norm of that tradition, but, you know, yeah. she, she got comfortable enough to, so. And then we found out something else at this, in this episode. Dean and Kelly they know each other outside, know, yeah. Because they both have a mutual well, friend. Well, they don't know if they have a mutual friend. His former ex-girlfriend is a friend of hers. <laughs> so that kind of bound them a little, little bit, you know. So it's like, you know, maybe this is Chelsea 2.0? I don't know, maybe. But I think it... It's also the fact that he's trying to make inroads to somebody. I mean, they yeah. think he could use his former ex-girlfriend as almost a connection to her, possibly and in with the the other Volkai members on Volkai. So, so then we end up going to the immunity challenge. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Brain brain freeze. Uh, okay. They had players, they had to di go dive and, it was a dive and shoot race, basically. Um, and once again, Miss Karishma was slow out the block. Well, they had to, like, it was like, in the water and they had to dive and they kind of get to the different obstacles that like, cross, like, a balance beam and stuff like that. And then the last thing was to, to throw um, three balls into baskets that are pretty far away. But also navigate buoys that they had to go and collect. Right. Um, you know, these guys can't catch a break, you Lyra, know? Lyra, even, even with the reshuffle, they I mean, can't catch remember, a... there's more Volkai now on Lyra yeah. than Lyra, so, and they're still behind. <laughs> Although they did catch up, and it did come down, really, to one basket. Yeah. Dean was shooting for Volkai, and... Oh, I cannot remember who was shooting for Lyra. And uh, for um, uh, yeah. it was Tom, uh, Missy and Tommy. Um, and Tommy was shooting against Dean. Oh, Dean. Okay, Tommy and Dean were shooting. So Tommy was shooting for Lyra. So. And he was actually ahead mm -hmm. um, for a bit. And then... Um, but it actually, no, sorry, Tom is on, uh, well, the new bald guy, Dean's on Lyra. Um, so, it really came down to one basket, and, like, Dean missed, and Tommy got his, so bald guy won again. <laughs> so. <laughs> Lyra's a, gone back again and, to, to uh, tribal camp. Okay, so now Dean, Dean's a little freaked, because he's like, I let you guys down, and he says to the camera, I'm a Division One basketball player. So he's like, I should have been able to yeah, sink but it. it th those baskets are not like sinking a basket. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not like it's up kind of thing. I mean, they learn techniques. So it's <clears> a little <throat> different. But still, I mean, he was close. But like, also, within seconds. Also, like, uh, the difference between a basketball game and this. It's also it, spotting. You know, you, it's it's the the playing field. You know, your you, your high like your, your tench, you, your, tension tension level is like. You know, you're competing. You have to get this because they're a race at the same spot you are. Yeah, you don't want to be eliminated. You don't want to be voted out of here, and you know they're doing the same thing. So you want to get. And and he's an NHL player. That's that's 
playing against you. It seems Former like the, NHL player. It seems like these. this seems to be the year of the sports guys, I know, because you know? there's at least three of them. Yeah. There's an Olympian, uh, NHL player, and him. Basketball. So the, Although he doesn't seem tall enough for basketball. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was just me. <laughs> and well, yeah. Um, so he was prepared. He he was like, okay, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna accept my fate if my name comes up. Um, but they're obviously trying to get Karishma out, you know, because they know it's either Tom, Dean, or Karishma because there's only three of them. Um, Jamal wanted to keep Dean and Tom, you know, that whole bro thing. Well, plus, like he's saying, that they do, they contribute more. They either help out around camp or they're better in challenges yeah. than Karishma. Karishma doesn't really do anything. It's not, like they said, it's not that they don't like her. It's they need people who can actually yeah, contribute. exactly. You know, and she really doesn't. And then Karishma's like, you know. To, I'll be loyal. I'll be loyal. I'll vote for whoever, which way you want to go. If it's Tom or Dean, I'm your girl. Right. So. I think it really came down to that, who they think would be more loyal, and, and because when they went to tribal council, that's mostly who they talk, what they talked about, because they know they were, there's three to two, four, so they know it's going to be one of them. It's just a matter of who. And, of course, they're arguing that Krishna, yeah. you know, doesn't Excuse do much me. around the camp and isn't, the, is, sucks at challenges. <laughs> they, well, you know. True. And, and um, the other ones kind of argued, Nora believe it or not, argued that, you know, but what's more kind of an advantage? Someone who says they're going to be loyal to you yeah. and may not have anybody on the other side or those who probably have connections and an alliance on the other side. So when the merge comes, they're just going to flip back yeah. to them. So which is the better deal? But if you guys remember from the last episode, Nora lost her vote. Right. So she's doing like so. It's the, really a three-three. So and of course, Lyra didn't know that. No, but. and she's doing the old verbal hustle to get things to kind of go a certain way. See, if they did, they could have actually gone to rocks if they vote. Oh, they yeah. then voted, and three all they would have was three votes. But of course, they don't know that. They don't know that vote. So, um, so on the way to tribal, it was kind of it was still kind of unclear who they were. Well, like I said, even at Tribal, when they were talking about it, they it's, it's maybe it was clear to them, it wasn't clear to us, no. that who they were leaning toward. It, it seemed to me like Karishma, but not, like, they were still kind of wondering, like, is that really the best idea? Yeah. And, of course, there was no uh, Rob and Sandra Island of the Idol visit for anybody this week, so, but they got to still watch. And it's funny, Sandra's like, these people, those three have been here far too many times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you, Sandra. Oh my god. So, it basically came down to Nora doesn't have a vote, but basically everybody, it came down to, to two who they voted for. Karishma got a couple votes, but they ended up voting out Tom. And you know what? Tom took it as, uh, he took it classy though. He's like, you know what, hey, good luck guys. I think he was kind of surprised, but like you said, he's first Canadian to play yeah. the game, and he goes, he also has the honor of being the first Canadian voted out. <laughs> well, at least we broke through You the... represented, Tom. Good for you. We broke, we broke through, through the Survivor. <laughs> we broke through the Survivor glass ceiling. We actually, the Canadian actually played. <laughs> exactly. For years, we weren't allowed Not to. Not allowed to play. You know? So... You get two thumbs up for getting Good there, job buddy. Good being the first Canadian to play, Tom. You didn't get that far, but at least you, you, <laughs> you played. You played. <laughs> I actually thought you had gotten further, to tell you the truth. I thought they would have gotten rid of uh, Karishma, but apparently not. <laughs> I guess she's still loyal to them. <laughs> she's got Are horseshoes. She's lucky. We'll see how much further she goes. So yes, we'll that's see. true. That's okay. true. Um, so that was a good episode, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload every time Survivor airs. And we hope you have a good rest of your week, and we will see you next week. See you next week. See you next week. Bye, Bye guys.